Balanchine came to choreograph Song of Norway for the whole Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo, and this is when I met him. And then Balanchine started to choreograph for the company. He, it is as if he, he, he liked what he saw. Mary Ellen was there, his wonderful, what they called the Balanchine dancer at that time. And um, I looked at her, and I saw those beautiful feet and those beautiful legs and how they moved. And I knew mine didn't move like that. But it's very interesting. My mother would say to me, why can't you dance like Mary Ellen? In the meantime, Mary Ellen's mother was saying to her, why can't you dance like Maria? <laughs> and I would say that Mary Ellen Moylan was the first great Balanchine dancer. Mother read an article in a magazine about the School of American Ballet. And she said, I'm going to send you there. Now, you look good in Florida, but let's see how you look in New York. And at 14, I took off for New York City to live with my aunt and study at the School of American Ballet. Balanchine taught as more or less a guest teacher. He still had no company of his own. So at 17, I joined Ballet Russe Monte Carlo with many of my confreres from the School of American Ballet. Mm. 46, I believe. Balanchine had his first company, finally, and it was called Ballet Society. The ballet that was done first was The Four Temperaments with music by Paul Hindemith. At the time it was being conceived, there is a feeling that you get. You know that something great is in progress. that seems to be recognized by everyone and remembered, I remember very well after 40 years, and that is the series of lifts. Now, I'm saying lifts, but they did not seem to be lift where you go up and down. The lifts were defying gravity. They were moving horizontally, running through space. The great uh, surrealist designer, Kurt Seligman, did the costumes for this ballet. And as interesting as they were, they were very difficult for the dancers. Balanchine was quite disconcerted, and he had a conversation with Seligman, saying, uh, we see nothing. We see nothing, he says. Mary Ellen. We don't see Mary Ellen at all. Can you know, Balanchine wanted, you know, cut, you know, some of this tool, some of this swathing, that it just hid the body, hid everything. He says, can you take this out? And Kurt Seligman, nothing can be cut. He says, you know, then he says, where is Seligman? And when things like this hindered the dance, Balanchine wished to eliminate them. And that's why so many times he has performed ballets in black leotards and pink tights or very simple clothes.